Welcome to my tutorial series. I finally decided to make more videos and today I'll show you a new trick that will blow your mind. I'm going to show you how to export an emote in all sizes using one button in Photoshop. At the end of the video, I'll show you how to make this shortcut a Stream Deck button in case you own a Stream Deck. Alright, let's get right into it! So firstly, open one of your emote files like this in Photoshop. Now, we're about to create the Photoshop action. Creating a Photoshop action means recording a series of inputs and commands that you will be able to use with one button after. So essentially, we will record ourselves exporting an emote in all sizes that we want and then start recording. We will then assign a shortcut command to this Photoshop action. Afterwards, once you use this command, the action will automatically export the image in all sizes that we recorded. So let's get set up. Hit the Window tab at the top and open the Action panel or hit Alt F9. Secondly, go back to the Window tab and open the History panel. Now, if you've seen my previous tutorials, you might have already created an emote folder on Dropbox with all of your clients like this. We need to create a folder where your emote exports will always automatically go to. When you're working on your emotes, keep that folder open separately. I named my folder One Emote Exports. The number puts the folder on top of the others when sorted alphabetically, so it's easier to find every day. Now we are ready to record the Photoshop action. Go down to the Action tab. Hit the plus button to create a new action. Name your action something like Emote Export. Function key. Set it to whichever F button you would like to use as your shortcut command. And then I suggest checking either the Shift or Control box, so that the command looks more like Shift F2, which is how I set mine. The reason I prefer having the command start with Shift is because most of my F keys are already in use with other important shortcuts. So for this example, I'm going to use F2 and Control, only because my Shift F2 is already in use. Click Record. Now everything that you do will be recorded, and it's not time-based but action-based, so try to follow this very specific order of commands. If you mess it up, just hit the stop button to stop recording and try again. Okay, so firstly, I personally like exporting my emotes in four sizes. The three sizes that Twitch requires, which are 28 by 28, 56, and then 112 pixels. But I also export the original size. In my case, it's 448 by 448. That's my usual original resolution for emotes. So I'm starting this action with exporting my emote in its current size. I'll go manually in the settings to make it more visual for you instead of using shortcuts. So hit File, then Save As, and choose your new emote export folder. Rename your image to the size that you are exporting it in. In my case, my original image is in 448 pixels, so that's how I'm going to name it. Click this menu and choose PNG and save. You can see already in your action panel that you recorded this saving sequence. Next, go to the image tab, image size, and switch the size to 112. Just copy these export settings that I'm using. If you haven't already, I suggest you watch my tutorial called Setup and Exporting Tips. Now File, Save As, choose your Emote Export folder, change the file name to 112, switch to PNG, and save. Here comes the challenge that I've had for a long time before I could make this work. The next move here is that we want to go back to our original image size, but the Photoshop action cannot record Ctrl Z, or even by going manually to edit and then undo, it does not record it. And if we don't record it, the action in the end would export the 112 image size to 56, and then from 56 to 28. This gives a bad quality export. We want to always export down from our original size to 28 or 56 pixels. So here's the workaround that I found. That's why we have the history panel open. So next go to the History panel, click on the Settings in the corner, and click Step Backward. Boom! It works! It recorded it! Sorry, I'm still excited about it. I use this all the time now. Let's continue. Click Image, Image Size, 56, OK. File, Save As, find your Emote Export folder, rename it to 56, Switch to PNG. Save. OK. Go to the History panel again. Click the Settings, Step Backward. Image. 
image size 28 ok file save as find your emote export folder rename to 28 switch to PNG save ok and lastly go to the history panel click the settings step backward and finally click the stop button on the action panel the square one and you're all done check this out this is my emote export folder I'll delete the content now if I press my shortcut that I set earlier shift F2 look at this BAM four perfectly exported emote sizes instantly isn't this magical but hold on I got a few more tips for you to make this extra convenient so I made you choose the specific image names so that when you use this command they are always named like this so all you need to do now is rename them as you want Poggies 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 I hit Ctrl A for select all Ctrl X for cut then go in your client C mode folder paste it using Ctrl V see how convenient it is and when working on your emotes for one client, I suggest keeping them all in this folder, rename them when you export them, and keep them all here until you're done working for this client, and then copy them all and paste them all at the same time in your client's folder. BAM! After spending 5 years exporting my emotes manually, this has been a luxury to use. But wait, we're not done! If you own a Stream Deck, here is how you can assign this shortcut to it. Open your Stream Deck program, figure out where you want the button to be placed, and then go to the right, click System, and then Hotkey. For the title, just name it Emote Export. Hit Shift Enter to have the text showing vertically like this. It looks better on the button. And maybe place it in the middle, like this. Hotkey, Shift F2, and you're done. So for Stream Deck users, all you have to do now is click on your Emote Canvas, and use your new Stream Deck button. Boom! The emote is exported to your emote export folder. Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed this episode and that you found it useful, because you guys have been asking a lot of questions over time, and I've just recently decided to keep my tutorials coming, so please subscribe if you want more. If you want to catch me working on my emotes live and or just be part of this community, I stream myself on Twitch at this channel. Thanks for watching!